good afternoon. Today is fence building day for the cows. Today's vlog is sponsored by Aiden. Aiden's a hard worker, so he is the sponsor. Is that right? I guess. You guess. Today we're actually going to be building some fence. Now let's look. You see where the cows are? They pretty much ate a lot of their stuff. And we need some spring grass starting to grow, not them eating. So look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. From cotton seed meal, some nitrogen being added to this soil. From us planting it back when deer season started, and now it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous winter stop pile. So now we're going to go ahead and take in about half of it. Last time we did this, sizzle like went nuts. So sizzle's no longer here, so I think we'll be okay with these three. We're gonna put it in here, and uh, like I said, you know, let's look. You know, the sheep's way over there. You see that post right there? That's there are two more posts behind that. So we're way down here on the other side. So we're a pretty good piece away from them, but it's amazing how we're using this big pipeline for the same purpose of feeding them. Ain't that awesome? Pretty cool. Let's build some fence. Getting my extra shots for today. Let's get the insulators. Get the smaller insulators first. Yeah, all the, all the yellow insulators. And give me the two white ones so we can hang on the post, too. All right, you see, within five minutes, we had all these up. Now, they're definitely more spread out. If, you, if you're if you not used to cows or cows are not used to being in temporary fencing, I wouldn't tell you to spread them out this much. But ours are pretty used to it. I'm going to say that. I'm going to regret it probably. But we're going to use this pull as the pull post and just stretch this uh, poly tape all the way around and make this one paddock. And then we could probably make another four or five paddocks going back that way. We don't have enough T-posts today to do that. So what we're going to do is use this and uh, go get some more from the barn and then go ahead and build the next one. When they go on the next one, these will come the next one and just keep rotating them down because they're pretty easy to go down because it's this this is kind of a wet area. So it's pretty easy to drive a T-post and also to pick them up. So you got the insulators? I wouldn't worry about that one. We'll worry about that one later. Let's I'll go ahead and get, get them on there. so we can have one more. Can you get it off? Yeah, I just got to untangle it. Okay, well, let's get them on there. Did you bring the um, white insulators for that post right there? Got two right here in the back. Okay, good. All right, They're we're going to get those. Ones, but they weren't. I don't have any gates, so what we're going to have to do is we'll have to use, we'll see if we can find a fiberglass post and hold it down and get them in there. We got one in the players, I think. Yeah, I think there's one we had by the sheep a while ago. I don't know where it ended up going. Let's have to find it. Okay, so what do you need to build a temporary fencing for, uh, for your cattle or sheep or whatever you're using? We we'll use a poly tape. You can get them at a local co-op or even a tractor supply. We we'll use a half inch thick poly tape. Um, it does everything we want it to do. Um, also, we use a Patriot um, insulator. You need some kind of insulator. We tend to like the longer insulators, usually a two inch, three inch. Reason being, it keeps it away from the T-posts and doesn't chance getting grounded. Aiden's actually putting the insulators on now. Uh, we also have an old roll here. You need a knife so you can cut your or scissors to cut it. Uh, we also have our Patriot charger. It's a Solar Guard 155. Uh, we really like this for the cattle. Uh, now you don't want to use this one because this is not a low impedance. So you don't want to use this with like chicken netting or goat netting or sheep netting. But for poly strands or poly wire, very good charger. We have our ground and run. And then of course you need a maul to, to get your ground and run the ground good. This is a, fit, a one we use for wood posts. We use our wood posts as a pull post. So anytime we have, we're close to something, we're either gonna put a gate opener on this or a um, or this right here so we can use it to tighten everything up really well. We use the fiberglass posts on most of them. If you look behind me, most of this is that fiberglass uh, easy post, not as many T posts, but you know, they can get rather expensive. So we just double with the T posts. They do just as fine and we can get a little bit tighter. So that's really all we're using today. And we're gonna go ahead and get, y'all, you definitely need a T post driver if you don't have one. Uh, driving these with a the mall hammer can only be so much fun. So, uh, but hey, we've got this going. So what we're gonna do is get these insulators put on the post, and uh, and go ahead and get with Aiden, get this done, and that way we can get these cow on some fresh grass.
Hey, give me some slack. I think it's good. What'd you think? That was, was quick. Good. What, 10 minutes? Probably. So we got it all up. Aiden's holding the last thing. We don't have gates. We forgot the little gate hooks, which is not a big deal because what we're going to do is when we get them in, we can trap them on that one and just tie it off for the night because we can go get gate openers tomorrow. But we've got it ready. So we're going to run them in this paddock. Aiden's going to hold it right there. They're pretty good with the bucket, even though there's no nothing in the bucket. I'm going to bring them over with the bucket without Allie and Elsa. Sometimes they can get a little crazy, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So we're going to get them out quick and get them moved and call it a night. Chickens, but this vlog is over for the day. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.